Welcome to Creators on the Crest. I'm Stephanie and I'm going to be doing a reading today for creators. So what is a creator? A creator is someone who chooses to be in their magic. There's someone who chooses to be in their creative forces. They're trusting their heart. They're trusting their intuition. They are not looking at all of the things that are intended to draw a reaction from them. So instead of being someone who is constantly reacting to things and having emotional, mental instability because of that, creator beings are anchored in their greater being. They are anchored in the universal energies that flow through them. And I believe that it's a goal of humanity to evolve in such a direction. So we're going to do a reading today for those of us who resonate with that and who understand and understand the divine forces within. And I've already pulled some cards and we are going to see what we got. So we're going to start with the overall energy of the message for creators today and we got honesty, the number 23 card, honesty. The energy of honesty supports our choice to be courageously truthful and genuine with kindness and tact. Beautiful, beautiful picture. And you know the number 23, two plus three is five. That's a number of change. So that could be something we're really looking at right now within ourselves. And I'll just put that card up there while we see what the energies are revealing, the other energies. We get the Chariot, the Ace of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. Oh my. And to clarify the Chariot, we get the Four of Cups. To clarify the Ace of Swords, we get the Emperor. And to clarify the the Wheel of Fortune, we get the Moon. Oh wow, okay. So what I'm really seeing creators is that, let me fix that, there we go. <clears throat> in what we're, what we're showing to the world and the people around us, we are very much considered the forward thinkers. We've got control over our creative process. We are really putting ourselves out there with the Ace of Swords, we're really stepping forward and we're creating change. We are literally creating the change that we want to see in the world with that Wheel of Fortune card coming in. We've got a lot of momentum. We've got a lot of nurturing and intuition combined with logic and analysis, which is a really beautiful balance. Now in our shadows, we have to remember a few things. <laughs> so we have to remember first that there will be times where we feel a bit lost, a bit forlorn, a bit sad, a bit melancholy about how others are or are not receiving the creative energy that we're putting out there. What we have to keep in mind is what I just said. It's that there are people still in very reactive states. They do not have the stability of the emperor. So their minds and the way they're putting forth their thinking is not where we might be at. We are able to create a stable mental state because we are trusting this chariot here. This is the card of cancer. This is intuition, trusting the intuition. This is nurturing the self, the intuition. This is feeling our way through the sadness, addressing it and acknowledging it so we can step out stably with our mental aligned with our emotional. As we create this change, however, we're going to have to remember that it's going to be a constant check in with our own shadows, with the ways that we haven't been clear on things before with acknowledging that we were once in a place of shadow and confusion and to not alienate people who are still learning. 
Now, we don't necessarily have to go seek them out and try to force and convince them to do anything. These emperor energies might kind of lead us there, but we'll have to remember that that just brings sadness upon us. What we need to do is stay in these creative forces of the change that we want to be and see in the world and the rest will be illuminated as we go. It's not our job to pull people in. It's our job to create the space so that they can find it. Okay. Now, I also pulled an oracle card, or I thought <laughs> I pulled an oracle card from the Shaman's Dream Oracle, but I actually pulled two. Let's take a look at what we got. Ooh, wow. So we got the Moon Maiden, which is New Beginnings, the 41 card and dances on one foot, a balancing act. Beautiful, I love the acknowledgement of new beginnings coming forward out of the energies that we are working on balancing. And I, I recognize and I want everyone to remember that yes, the journey feels like a tightrope, like you're walking a tightrope and you can see the being in this is like balancing on one foot, really making sure that they are purposeful about their next step. I love the green colors in the card. I always see green as a color of the heart. And I love that a new beginning is being acknowledged, meaning that our creative forces that we're putting forth are coming in. They are coming in out of the shadows and they are going to be seen. We have to be patient with the process. We have to be honest with ourselves that some people just aren't ready for it. And it's not our job to force them into it. It's our job to be in a good mental and emotional balanced state, to acknowledge our sorrow and sadness, but to stay stable in the knowledge that we are creating the positive change. And change is going to take time. It is going to feel a little challenging at first, but we have to remember and trust that as we take each step, each purposeful step, each creative step, things are going to unfold exactly as they're meant to. I really hope everybody enjoyed this reading for creators. Please let me know what you thought of this in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate the support and I'll be back next time.